All right, so if the links in your description look like this right here, then there's three very important things that you could do right now to actually fix that, all right? So I want you to watch this video all the way through so you don't miss any other steps, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the YouTube studio and we're gonna click on that specific video that you're trying to turn to a clickable link. Now, when you go in your description, notice right here, I have www.yourlinkgoesrighthere.com. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put an HTTP, then we're going to put a colon, and then we're going to go ahead and put slash slash just like that. All right. Now, once we do that, this is step number one. Okay. There's other steps to go. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Now, when I hit save and then I go back to that incognito browser and I hit refresh, you should see your link highlight and become clickable okay so let's go around here so now you can see that my link is clickable right now if your link still isn't clickable let's say for instance you're doing this on a youtube short one thing to keep in mind is that youtube no longer allows links on youtube short so if it's a youtube short that you're trying to do it on that's why your link isn't working now on regular videos they still allow links but that's where we're going to move into the next step all right so let's go ahead and click off this and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right down here to where it says settings. And then you're going to see this right here pop up. All right. So when this pops up, you want to click on channel and then you want to go to feature eligibility. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and move this move me over to the left side of the screen so you can see what's going on. All right. So right here you can see it says standard features. It says intermediate features and it says advanced features. OK, so notice that I have all of these enabled. So this first one right here, this is going to be by default, right? You're going to see this as soon as you start your YouTube channel. Now, when we get down here to intermediate features, this allows you to unlock custom thumbnails, which is very, very important when it comes to getting views because that's the first thing people typically see, right? And it also allows you to unlock longer videos, live streaming, and there's something that you're going to see when you come here. So when you go here, if you haven't already verified your YouTube channel, you're going to see something that says verify your phone number. Now, what you want to do immediately is you want to go ahead and verify your phone number. Click that button. It's going to take you over to a little screen and then they're going to send you a code to your phone. Now, when they send you the code to your phone go ahead and enter that code and then what's gonna happen it's gonna say okay you are verified now you can go ahead and close that screen out and then refresh the page okay when you refresh the page now when you come here you should see it says enabled for you okay now if you look right here this one says advanced features right now advanced features is where you want to pay very close attention to what I'm gonna share with you so if you look over here remember you unlock things every time you verify your channel at each level so if you look right here it says external Internal links in your video descriptions. So what does that mean? That means that you need to have all of these unlocked in order for you to actually put links in your description. All right. So boom, you, you verified your phone number. That's step number one. Now look, that's a requirement. You have to unlock intermediate features in order for you to even unlock what you need here in this video, which is the external links. So if you look right here, intermediate features enabled, and then you also have to do a video verification, valid ID, and you have to have channel history now the good thing is i'm gonna go ahead and show you this on the screen it says simply look at your phone's camera and follow the prompts then it says to get quick access to advanced features after two months of channel activity and following the guidelines you will establish a channel history and will automatically delete the video verification video okay so after you do that that will give you access now another thing you could do is you can have a valid id upload your id if that's something that you want to do if you don't don't want to do that then just do the video verification but keep in mind that they're going to hold on to it for at least two months based on what you're reading right here it says after two months of channel activity and following our community guidelines you'll establish channel history and will automatically delete your id so that just gives you the data so you know exactly what's going on and then this one obviously is channel history so like the amount of data that you've accumulated with your channel and this really comes from just creating a ton of content and then building up that channel history and then over time, you'll be good to go, all right? All right, so now, if I go ahead and minimize that, once you see all three of these are enabled and you did at least one of those verifications, that unlocks your ability to add external links in the description. So even if I would've just showed you the first thing that you had to do, which was actually make sure that the link says HTTP, even if you did that, your link wouldn't have worked if you didn't verify your channel at the intermediate level and also at the advanced level so you 
you can unlock those things. So now that you know how to make your links clickable, I want you to watch this video right here because it's gonna show you step-by-step -step exactly how to structure a YouTube description that can get you the most amount of link clicks possible. See you over there.